Hello viewers, welcome to another project tutorial by Project Maker. In this video, I will be demonstrating you my new project which is Smart Traffic Matching System that I have created using Python and Tkinter. Currently in India, traffic matching system is very poor due to which if there are a lot of fakers waiting on signal, they will get a fixed amount of time to move from that signal to other places and suppose if there are a very low amount of vehicles present at a signal they will get high time to move because it is fixed so to bring solution to this problem i have created this project traffic management system so let's explore this project before starting this video if you are new to this channel let hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to watch my video first now without wasting any time let's move to our computer screen to explore this project so as you can see my computer screen is open and I have opened my YouTube channel. Now before starting this video I would like to inform you that I am working on creating another playlist of DSA for which I have already started mapping the important concept for interview. I am posting them regularly in my community field as you can see. So let's take an example so this is a dynamic program concept for interview so if you are preparing for any tech company interview or online coding round then if you just understand the pattern of these concepts so let's say dp and these are few important concepts of dynamic programming that you can go through to clear understand the dynamic programming here as you can see string concepts bit masking concepts so i regularly upload this concept of each term in DSA such as dynamic programming, recursion, backtracking, bit masking and so on as you can see but uh, th there is a problem with the YouTube community that it only allows me to upload 5 pics so I uploaded all the concept and key points that you should be prepared for interview as well as for online coding ground of tech giant companies such as Microsoft, Google, Amazon and so on so I uploaded all this important concept on my Instagram account also. So as you can see, this is my Instagram account where I upload important concepts as a matrix, arrays, recursion, binary search, dynamic programming, strings, bit masking. And this list will go on continue as you can see. So if you are preparing for interview or and don't know how where to start and how to cover only important concepts then you can definitely follow my instagram account as well as youtube channel where i will be starting a playlist which will explain all this important concept that i have shown you here, here as you can see so that's all about data structure and let's move to our main project so i will simply move back here so moving to our project so i will try to first explain what is my implementation so let's move to the whiteboard so this is the intersection point of any traffic signal where there are four traffic signals available assuming we will be starting with a so initially at point a i will be giving a fixed amount of a green signal to vehicle say so let's say 10 second so vehicle a will be on for 10 seconds and vehicle will pass in all directions for 10 seconds once 5 seconds are remaining the camera present as signal b will just click a photo or a frame of this signal and just count the vehicles and depending upon that count of vehicle it will set the time for signal b to be green suppose there are 20 vehicles available in signal b so it will make let's say of 15 second signal and so it will be on for 15 seconds so for 15 seconds vehicle will move here as you can see i will just clear this so b will be alerting for 15 seconds and 5 seconds are remaining for and if uh, suppose uh, last 5 seconds are remaining for signal b then at that time uh, this image will be taken or let's say frame will be taken and the vehicles present there will be counted and suppose there are 40 vehicles present for signals C so it will be make green signal for let's say 30 seconds we can change this count because it is dynamically programmed that for how much time this signal will be set to green so this will be set for 30 seconds I will write it here it will just release vehicle for 30 seconds 
after 25 seconds get over of the signal then a frame or image will be taken of this part of screen and the vehicles will be counted and depends and depending upon the count suppose there are only two vehicle present then it will be simply released for minimum seven seconds i have added so it will be on for seven seconds and the vehicle will move for seven seconds after that uh, suppose five seconds are remaining then it will simply count the vehicles present in this area then suppose there are more vehicles available this let's say 40 vehicles so we can't set uh, 10 seconds for signal a to move according to vehicle count. so this time the 10 second will be get replaced by let's say 35 seconds so this time instead of 10 seconds signal a will be activated for 35 seconds so th this is dynamically changing of traffic signal to set signal green and this process will be go on infinitely 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 depending upon the vehicle count so i hope the little bit of concept is clear to you i will show you the simulation of this concept so for that let's move to our destination folder so th this is the destination folder i will just click on the simulation and just run the simulation file it's a simple python file that i have created using pygame i will just simply run this file python simulation for simulation.py by the way i have just taken this concept from another youtube video i found it useful so i just decided to implement that concept in terms of coding i will provide the link of this video from where i have just taken taken simulation method so let's understand so this is signal a and as you can see the count of vehicle is this and it is become red as you can see or yellow then it has stopped then this is signal b it has come the vehicle as 10 11 12 13 14 as you can see and when it becomes yellow as you can see here then the count of this vehicle is taken and accordingly the green time is given for this vehicle so as you can see there were only five vehicles so only five seconds were given as you can see then this is the last signal d so it has become yellow the frame of this image is taken and it is simply set to go for 9 seconds depending upon the vehicle count we can change this uh, green signal according to our requirement and also how traffic is present in the intersection point and after that a so there are a lot of vehicles present here as you can see the time is 14 seconds given previously it was something other as you know and this will be the infinite process and depending upon the vehicle count the green signal will be given to the vehicles so see a lot of vehicles are present here accordingly this time will be changed for traffic signal b this time it, it's 21 before it was something else as you see so this is the proper concept that i have just tried to explain you in this uh, my whiteboard and the sim simulation is here now let's move to the project that i have created so i will simply just close this this is the backend part of that simulation game so let's explore the model so first is data model where the different folders are present so it is a classes folder classes simply contains the vehicle name that will be appearing in the output section i will show you that later so these are the four videos so assuming uh, this project is implemented on the live intersection point and these are the four webcam feeds of four signals so these are simply that four video sim feeds i have taken after that this is the area so this is the area which means i i told you that uh, this will be the starting point of this area so how much area should be considered to count vehicles so this project will count vehicles from that area only so that's why the the four points dimensions is two so point a point b point c point d so this will form simply a rectangle or the type of shape that i choose similarly for each four signal these signals are present the data is different for each signal according to the selection point that i have selected i will show you that for better understanding and after that uh, this is over then this is a model folder where my model is present so it this model is responsible for count, counting the vehicles present in the area 
then I have created a virtual environment as you can see and this is the main file of my project so I will simply open this folder in VS code and firstly I will activate the virtual environment so I will simply activate my virtual environment using this command as you can see and as you can see the virtual environment is activated after that let's run this file it will it takes some time to load as you can see it has opened so this is a tick inter window that I have created so when we will installing this project it will not have such interface and as I told about the areas which is this so this simply stored the coordinates of that four points uh, so which is this so if I click on new the data present in four files will be get clear and new points will be taken so I will just simply show you that so this is the first frame assuming this is the first view from traffic signal 1 of intersection point so if I, I will just click four dots here so first dot is here second dot is here third dot is here and fourth dot is here as you can see after the first dot first image got closed and second image appeared assuming the this is a webcam frame of second traffic signal or camera so I will simply click four dots here as you can see so it was simply that and now this is the CCTV camera feed of third CCTV camera assuming this is a signal C of intersection point so I will simply select this and this is the last so I will simply select four points here one two three and four and after selecting four points I will simply close this window because the area because the file has been updated after you save the coordinates you can simply click on this old button so that the coordinates will be taken from this file only so if we implemented this project on another traffic signal we can simply click on this new button so that new coordinates will be taken according to the traffic signal and then the process will get started so now let, let's click on old button so the coordinates will be taken from this file and just click here let's wait for a few time and as you can see the vehicle count is present here and this is the image so this was first image this was second image this was third image and this was fourth image as you can see so let's count the vehicle in first frame 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven. so it's 9 the time allocated is 8 second so depending upon the vehicle type so as you can see it is motorcycle here car here car the time frame is allocated so as assuming i have allocated 1.25 seconds for each vehicle uh, 2 seconds for each four wheeler 5 to 6 uh, 5 seconds for a uh, big vehicles which are 14 wheeler vehicles and so on so according to that i have just added the time of each vehicle type and it is presented here so according to that the time allocated will be 8 seconds the time allocated means the for how much time the green signal will be get activated so the signal a will be get activated for 8 seconds signal b which is this frame as you can see it will get activated from 9 seconds so it will count the vehicles 5 to 6, six seconds before or as we can say the when the yellow signal is on this is the output of signal c as you can see 26 vehicles are detected so time allocated is 29 seconds 8 vehicles are detected so time allocated is 8 seconds here 9 were detected but one vehicle that doesn't make any difference here 15 vehicles are detected and time allocated will be 9 seconds as you can see because there are a lot of small bikes present here as you can see and the three wheelers vehicles are also present here so th this is a static output i have not added here while loop after 8 seconds that as we did in simulation part because i want to explain you this project so once i added while loop in my this program after 8 seconds this signal the amount of this data will get changed after 9 seconds this data will get changed and after 29 seconds this data will get changed i have not added this feature here because i want to explain you this project so this was my entire project hope you like this video and if you want the source code of this project you can simply message me on instagram 
or in comment section below i will be happy to share with the source code of this project so this can be a good concept to implement as a final year project also so if you are an engineering student then you you will be having a final year project so this can be a good implementation for final year project also so that's all for today's video i have also created a blogging website which will include the source code of this projects as you can see so the name of that blogging website is project maker blog dot blogspot.com so this is my blogging website of my youtube channel as you can see so let's wait for some time so this is my beautiful blogging website that i have created which contains the source code of my every youtube tutorial as you can see and here i have also added a lot of specification you can check this later because the video is becoming too lengthy so if you want if you see one of the video and if you are interested in getting the source code you can simply come in my blogging website and just search by the title of my project uh, which is here number conversion using python and you will get the source code of that tutorial that i explained in that video so that's all for today's video thanks for watching this video